What's up YouTube, this is Sadasuke again for another cat battle. Um, hopefully the ladder's up and I'll get right into it. So I changed up my team from last time and... Oh, okay, I guess we're doing two this time, but I changed up my team from last time and added in the Commodore. All of those are fighting type and I think his Lucario is going to be physical, but... Everything dies to a pincer, yeah, okay. Um, if you're making a team, use six Pokemon. It's generally a good idea. Um, so that thing's going to be physical, and Mega Pinsir has enough bulk to take anything. Unless he has Ice Punch, which is, which would be strange. Or his Fear. Oh, that hurt a lot. Thanks. Alright, that's dead. Um, yeah, no, don't. Don't expect to win with teams of very few Pokemon. That's not a good plan. It's not going to happen. Except if you're going into the VGC and you bring four. That's what you're supposed to do. If you bring six to VGC, you're cheating. And you'll probably get, like, killed on spot. Generally, Infernapes are sashed, so I, that could have actually done something to me, but it didn't. And, yeah, no, that this wasn't remotely a challenge. I'm doing another one. Uh, okay, hopefully we can get a real guy. You know, that kind of works. So, he has the Commodore, which might be a problem, so I'm going to have to keep the Cyclone alive. Um, the Aramoth can be a bitch. Like, maybe he's a noob and he doesn't realize that he's supposed to use Illusion on it, but who knows. Um, he's probably going to lead with a Fidget knowing how people lead in this tier, so I think I'll go with Latios. Molex. Well, that works. I'll just Psyshock that. Stealth Rocks, really? That's an interesting Molex head. He doesn't have a Dark that wants to take this, so that's a dead Molex. Um, I would recommend him going into the... what should he go into? Commodore, very nice. Okay, so I think it, like if that wants to belly drum, I'll just ice beam it, and it'll be dead. Let's see how this works. No, what? Okay, so that did sixty. Mm. I don't carry spin on the colossal, oil, so I'm gonna fuck, and I have the mega pincer. So if that continues to knock off, this could be bad times. Um. I'm going to have to bring in the Latios at a better time, because I need these rocks out of the way eventually. Yeah, and he's just spamming knockoff. Doesn't really matter. Cyclone has a um, has moves to just not even care. So this Commodore is going to be gone. Like, this Cyclone is spe bleh, specifically calc and made to take down a Commodore from full health and live any uh, plus six attack from it. If you want to, I'll just hover over the stats right now and so that you guys can steal them if you'd like. Uh, I always run run zero IVs in attack if it's a special attacker because it uh, nerfs the foul play and swagger. Well, not a swagger anymore, but it nerfs most of the damage. Pfft, Revenonk. Don't. I don't know why I keep seeing that. It's some that I. Bleh. Sorry. Uh, it's something that I've been seeing a lot more recently. But I guess I'll just go for a stab thunderbolt. He does, or maybe oh. Spe <laughs> you fucked up, man. <laughs> uh, I should have gone for the flamethrower. Yeah, why are you will o wisping me? That's not going to do anything. You also have that fidget just sitting. I'm specs into Thunderbolt. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, maybe he can be smart and send the fidget in. Let's maybe hope. But I don't think it's going to happen, judging by this guy. Zen Headbutt. Interesting. Uh, fuck, that Krillowat could be a problem, but I also have... Yeah, so now he's sending in the Fidget. There's no point in keeping this into fodder, because it's not really going to do anything, being fodder. Um, let's go into Colossoil. I'm not sure if the Flame Orb activates right now. Light screen, okay. 
it's probably a light clay persistent, so that's going to be there for a while. Um, but you know what he hasn't gotten up? He hasn't gotten up the reflect. I'm not sure how fast Fidget is, but hopefully I can outspeed and kill him a little bit. Actually, why don't I, why don't I find out? I'm pretty sure I have like zero speed investment on the, yeah, I have zero speed investment on this. Except for the 31 IVs. Skill swap? What the fuck are you, oh. That's smart, holy shit. <laughs> That's actually really smart, never thought about that. So he has guts now which means that his persistency is going to not be as persistent. But he seems like he's not going to be spike stacking, which means that I can set in this, hopefully he won't attack. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Um, that's a problem. That is a problem, and it's base 105 speed, so... Can he skill swap my stance change? I don't think that can happen. So the Colossal has Guts back now, which means that I can send it back in, and if he wants to skill swap, then he's just giving me back more Guts. I'm going to be more Gutsy, and he can't expect a thing. He should shut, bleh, set up a Reflect. That would be the smart thing. Or he could do that. Yeah, that's not going to do shit. Goodbye. Luckily, not too much of my... Well, I'm not sure how much of my team is spitacking. It's half spitacking. Special attacking, if you need it to be said that way. Fuck, I don't know what this wants to do. I think I outspeed it, so I'll just go for the knockoff. Yeah, knock punch is going to be that, but I don't really need the Colossal for much else, except for like taking out the Krillowat, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. It sucks that I didn't get the rocks out of the way, but I guess this would be the time to send in the pincer and Mega Evolve it because it's not going to be good for much else after this, except for Earthquaking. The... Actually, yeah, it's going to be good for a lot of stuff after this. I don't know why I'm doing saying that. Um, his Mach Punch isn't going to do shit. I'm going to be bug flying, so I'll outspeed a return and see what he wants to do. Oop. So, okay, so that's dead, and I'm pretty sure I won this, unless he has some ridiculous Krillowat set that I've never seen before. Do those get Boom Burst? Because that would be scary. Because it just traced my arrow late. I don't know, it's just T-bolting. Don't paralyze, please. Thank you. Um, That was quick and easy again. I'm not sure if I should go for one more or not. Um, Actually, you know what I could do? I think what I'll just do for this one is I'll edit the window for this, or the um, recording space for this, and just do a quick... Um, team overview. I think we don't have any of those on the channel yet, so let's do this one. So let's start off with the Latios. So I think I built this team so that I could use Mega Pincer successfully in Cap, because a lot of people like to use, um, what's it called, Mega Mawile, but I figured Mega Pincer is a decent, not necessarily counter to that, but it's something that can do that thing's job while not taking up a certain spot on the team. So to start off, we have the Latios, which is based, it's kind of a basic set, but it's a little bit switched up. I have the Leftovers and Levitate. Well, you have to have Levitate. Uh, leftovers gives it a bit of longevity over Life Orb. Um, there's not really much to say over that. Uh, Draco Meteor, in case I need to revenge kill anything, but it's not really... It kind of has enough speed to revenge kill, but not really. Uh, Draco Psyshock for stabs. Um, I was thinking, like, originally I had Ice Beam and Thunderbolt for full Bolt Beam coverage, and then I could just throw in a Life Orb or Specs. But I decided against it, because I was really tired of having Colossoil as being the uh, primary spinner of the team. So I made Latios a Defogger. I know that most people generally prefer Latios as a Defogger over that, but... It works out pretty well. The EVs are also really basic as well, which is just uh, max attack, max speed, and four in special defense. Um, most people try, or most decent players try to keep the um, the HP as an odd number so that when they switch in on rocks or spikes, they take technically a little bit fewer damage or less damage. So instead of investing four in HP, I put four in special defense, and I have zero IVs in t attack to. Um, to to 
make it so that uh, foul play and confusion damage is minimized. Um, up next is the Mega Pincer, which actually has really good coverage in having flying type attacks and ground and earthquake. Because whatever the fl flying doesn't really hit steel well, it doesn't hit rock well, and it doesn't hit electric well. And earthquake hits steel, rock, and electric, so that is just amazing coverage for that. Sword stance plus um, the mega gets aerolate, which makes normal type attacks into flying type attacks and boosts them by 1.3. So at the mega stage, you're getting return at 1.6 times damage if you counter in, or if you. Is it 1.6? It's either 1.6 or 1.8. It's some decent boost with the combination of stab and um, and aerolate. So you get that. So return is for a lot of damage, because that's going to be 102 base power times a lot. It's almost doubled, so it's a lot of damage. And then quick attack for decent stab priority. Earthquake for coverage, and it's a really strong move. Um, the EVs... Um, I believe that I put in 212 so that I could outspeed uh, fully invested Jolly or Timid base 80 speeds. Uh, max attack to get off the most damage, I put 40 in HP because I technically would have done 44 to. Um, I would have done 44 to put the rest of the EVs into there, or the remaining out of the. Um, I think it's 512 is how many you're generally working with. But because that would have resulted in an even number, and since Mega Pincer is extremely weak to rocks, I would be losing 50% on a switch. By having that be an odd number, you, um, when you switch a, something four times weak to rocks in, it only loses about 49.9%, which means you can switch in on rocks twice, which is good. Um, other than that, I put the last in defense, and I put minus special attack, and this is just something... I do, I'm not sure how many other people actually do it, but I put zero IVs in special attack because there's some really off-the-wall type of thing that you need that for. I completely forget it right now, but it's just in case. Plus, you, you don't need special attack. I have no special attacks on this pincer. Uh, up next is the Cyclone, and this is my particular set for taking out Commodore, which is a huge threat in cap. Um, because of its belly drum. Belly drum, getting this thing up to four times attack, and then the coverage this thing has is ridiculous. So, what was I on? Cyclone. Um, so I have leftovers so that it can be the good tank that it is. Shield dust. Um, I forget why exactly I had it on there. Shield dust was for... I made this around the time that Mega Cham was a thing, so... It was for... Was it? it was for Mega Cham had Fake Out, uh, Ice Punch generally, Psycho Cut, and Bullet Punch. But uh, this was so that I could ignore the Fake Out. Shield Dust makes it so that you're not affected. You're not going to be flinched. You're not going to be burned by a secondary effect. You're not going to be frozen by a secondary effect. None of that. It's just not happening. So Shield Dust means that I could have lived through the Fake Out. Uh, hit him with a thunder wave, and then I could go into a decent counter or something that generally wouldn't have been able to take care of it at its regular speed. Um, Thunderbolt is for the stab. Well, it's not stab coverage, but it's it's stab, and it's good. It's just the go-to attack to take out stuff like I don't know. Mega Gyarados was a thing for a bit, which means that if you could just hit this on a Gyarados, it's gone. Uh, thunder wave is to slow down oppo um, my opponents so that I could actually let the rest of my team take care of them because my team isn't too fast, but it's decently speedy. Um, slack off is just a basic recovery move. It's really good. And flamethrower is so that I can take out Commodore without a problem. Now, the EVs on this are a little bit stranger. It's not the basic. Well, this suggests a physically defensive spread, which is 252 in defense, 252 HP, force of sp attack, and bold. But what I did was I put 252 in defense, then I gave it enough sp attack so that it can most of the time oko a commodore. I think it was like, it tallied out to like 82% or like 7 eighths or something like that of the time that this is going to oko a commodore at full health. But generally since commodores are belly drumming and citrus burying, they're going to be at 75, so this will just get rid of it. Plus the defense and bulk uh, remaining on it 
allow it to live any move that a common Commodore carries, which is Bullet Punch, Acrobatics, and Drain Punch. So I think Drain Punch only does, it does less than half, which means that this is just a perfect uh, counter to Commodore if you need one. Then I have the zero IVs in attack, as I explained before. Uh, this one is new. I'm trying out a Flame Orb Colossoil. I usually do Assault Vest so that it can just live anything. I actually brought over the Assault Vest EVs because it just... It adds for a decent bulk. I didn't, I didn't necessarily want it to go all into HP, but I should actually change that right now to make it odd. There we go. And... So yeah, it's Flame Orb Guts, which means that I don't get the momentary bounce sort of thing. Like, I can't really switch this in on a Skarmory anymore, or switch it in on a Chansey or Blissey. But um, it does mean that it's the status absorber of the team. Like, you can switch this in on an incoming Spore, an incoming Will-O-Wisp, a Toxic, so long as it's already Flame Orbed. It's a basic sort of set. Um, Earthquake's really strong. This team... Uh, it's, re it's really offensive in terms of ground type, if that makes any sense. I think I carry, yeah, I carry two Earthquakes, which is a lot for a team, not necessarily, but I think it is. Uh, Sucker Punch for good priority, Knock Off, because Knock Off is just amazing this generation, and Facade, because it's going to be base 140 plus the Guts boost, which is really nice. So uh, 140 times 1. 1.5 is... Uh, 260, I think. Somewhere around there, and 260 base attack coming from something with 377 attack is a lot. Yeah, the EV spread, this was just so that it could take 50% from a Krillowatt's Hydro Pump, I believe, while Assault Vested. But, it's not Assault Vested, so it's gonna be, it's gonna take damage from special attacks, but not as much as it usually would. And it's not physically defensive at all. It only has a little bit of bulk, but you can deal with that. The Asia Slash is a... It's actually kind of a stall Asia Slash. I saw this used... Or I, it was used on me a while ago, and I thought this was pretty good. And it's a good way to carry Toxic on the team while... Most people are going to be scared out by the thought of a Shadow Sneak or a Sacred Sword. or a, uh, They generally won't try to physically attack it because they know King Shield is a thing. So they're going to switch in something that can take a Shadow Sneak or a uh, Iron Head or a Secret or a Secret Sword, Sacred Sword, one of the two. But when that thing gets switched in, it gets toxic, and then with that you can set up subs, King Shield, and it has the one attacking move, which I should actually, I think that was supposed to be Iron Head because it is the one check to fairies that I have on my team, or it was the one check to fairies I had on my team before I added in the Commodore. Uh, yeah, so the EVs are uh, max special defense, uh, max HP while keeping it odd, and 8 uh, in attack for just a little bit of an attack boost. And then lastly we have the basic Commodore set, which is Volt Absorb with Citrus Berry. Commodore with Volt Absorb means that it only has one weakness, which is fire, which um, you only really see in cap from a, what is it, Molox and a Cyclone. You don't really see Pyroact too often, so that's not really a problem. So it has very few weaknesses, in other words. Yeah, so Citrus Berry and Volt Absorb means that it can belly drum up and get four times attack while keeping at 75% HP. Uh, Drain Punch, Acro, and Bullet Punch put it at just, it's just amazing coverage. I don't know why they gave it Drain Punch, because... You have your two stabs. Uh, acrobatics is going to be base 110 power with, uh, and then you add stab on top of that, and that's going to be that's just strong. That's that's all I can say. And then drain punch gives you really good recovery while also hurting your opponents. And the EV spread is basic. You need your HP to be even if you're belly drumming so that you can actually get it down to 50%, and then the citrus berry can heal you up. Otherwise, I think you're going to be at 51, and you're not going to the citrus berry is just going to be not working. Uh, nothing really too fancy on this. I put max speed because your your attack is going to be multiplied by four anyway. You don't really need to put too much into it. But Commodore, I don't know. It's fast already, and it has a lot of physical defense. So anyway, yeah, that's the team. I'm sorry I didn't really get too many good battles in today. Um, 
I say this at the end of every video, but be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the cat project if you haven't already. It's on Smogan. Um, thanks for watching, and this is Tadasuke signing out.